Good morning, and this morning I've got a quick unboxing for you of this. And obviously you can't see what this is, but I will take it out of the bag and then we'll see. And it's this. The RG350, or the Retro Game 350, by Anne Burnick. And it's a little Chinese handheld. Now, the reason I've got this, twofold really. Uh, it's small and it's easy to just throw in a bag. And also, of all these things, it's actually got two analog sticks. Now, I know there are some others out there with two analog sticks, but it is relatively rare. Obviously, if you're going to get two analog sticks and you want more power, you're going to be looking at something like a GPD XD, and I've actually got one of those as well. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on that one, let me know in the comments. But I also thought, well, I'll give this a go. I've seen a lot of these Chinese devices, and I thought, well, this one looks like the best one so far. So here we are. Now... There's four options. It comes in black, which is what I've got. Grey, which is kind of like a, a Game Boy sort of colours. Uh, white transparent, which I've not seen anywhere. Or grey transparent, which is kind of almost black, but it's got a transparent look to it. I've got the black one. And it comes with a 3.5 inch 320 by 240 screen with a 4.3 aspect ratio. And it's an IPS screen and it's got tempered glass apparently and it's got 512 meg of built-in capacity with a 16 uh, gigabyte TF card and it's got support for type C charging which is uh, a nice one this is the first one I've seen with type C on it so uh, things are moving forward uh, it's got stereo speakers and a headphone out output uh, I really want a headphone output on these devices I usually play them with headphones and a 2,500 uh, 2, milliamp hour battery. And apparently it gives six hours of battery life. And I will find out, presumably. And it's also got support for TF card expansion up to 64 gig. So you can plug another, another card in. So let's just get into it. And first off, the packaging's not bad. Uh, not sure what this thing is. It's there really to protect the the buttons, which I suppose is not a bad idea. It's actually quite nice packaging, I have to say, for something this cheap. And when I say cheap, this was, I think I paid 70 quid for it. So it's not stupidly cheap, but it's not stupidly expensive either. And a lot cheaper than something like the, the GPD XD. But then again, as I say, you're getting a lot more power for the GPD XD. So first off, my first impressions of it are it's got a decent amount of heft to it. Feels actually nice. Feels uh, more premium than I was expecting, to be honest. And it looks nice. It's all plastics, nothing too fancy. The analog sticks don't feel too bad. A little bit small for my liking, but then you'd expect it on a little device like this. Feels a bit like... I was going to say it feels a little bit like on the uh, Vita, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it feels a little bit higher than some of the other devices I've tried as well. And it's got, I don't know if you can hear that, let's put that up to the clicky thumbsticks, which is a definite plus point for me. What the buttons feel like, that's clicky. They don't feel bad at all. D-pad. Felt a lot worse. Feels all right, I have to say, feels all right. And then you've got L1 and L2 here, and R1 and R2. So it's got plenty of buttons on it. So you should be able to play most games. And to be honest, most of the games you'd be playing just be using the D-pad and the face buttons, because most of these old games don't require a lot of buttons. And then on the top here, we've got, let's have a look, USB, HDMI, AV out, and I think that's for the headphones as well from what I can see here, and another USB as well. And I think, I'm not sure which one's which, but one of these is for powering, and the other one, I think it gives you other options as well, but I'm not absolutely sure what they're for. We'll get into that. Round the other side, we've got, what have we got? Power, TF card slot, rocker for 
the volume and a reset button. And that's pretty much it. A lot of people have commented that they don't like the Anne Burnick written on there. And yeah, I could see that that would be a bit distracting, but that's not too bad. Yeah, looks nice, feels nice. I think I might enjoy playing with this. I'm definitely going to find that the buttons are interfered with by the thumbstick on the right. But I'm sure I can get used to that. Most of these little handhelds, you have to get used to holding them. It'd be nice if you could get a little add-on device like you can with the uh, PS Vita or, or an even the Switch now, where you can put something on that gives you kind of something to hold on to. But for now, that looks quite nice. I'm not going to turn it on yet. I'm going to have a play around with it and maybe make another video when I get used to uh, fiddling with it. I've got no games with it yet. Tell a lie, let's just see if it turns on. Oh, it actually does turn on. So, let's see. It's got a standard firmware on there at the minute. And I have to say, right, I'm looking at the screen now. This screen is quite lovely. God knows what that is down the bottom there in Chinese, but we'll get into that. As I say, this is my first device like this, so you're you're getting it. Well, I say first device. It's uh, it's not my absolute first device, but it's the first of these little Chinese devices, unless you uh, count the GPDXD in that, which I suppose technically it is, but it's on another level, to be honest. And at the top, yeah, you can go backwards and forwards here. We've got games. It comes with a load of games built in, but I'll be probably putting custom firmware on. You can reintroduce the games back again, so I understand. Yeah, lots of stuff that comes built in. Media, uh, in Chinese, settings. Presumably you can have a fiddle around with that, change the wallpaper. I'll probably stay, keep it as is. As I say, I'm going to put different firmware on anyway. Applications, we got clock. Yeah, ooh, don't know what half of this stuff is. It's going to be fun to play with. Maybe you lot can come along for the ride with me. Emulators. X main DOS box FBA. Does it come with anything built in? Genesis plus GX. Let's press on that. Data, apps, MP3, MP4, ROMs. Blimey, it's a load of ROMs here, uh, apparently. Or maybe it's just a. Let's see. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Not sure. Mega Drive. Nothing in there. Doesn't look like it comes with anything built in. But uh, yeah, is that home? Yeah, that takes us home. And uh, yeah, seems all right. I'm going to have to put my own uh, games on there, but I've got quite a lot of those already. Pocket snares. Uh, yeah. Don't know. We'll get into it. As I say, it's all new to me, but I will learn where everything is and how to use everything. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. But yeah, just uh, thought I'd uh, open it up and have a look. And uh, when I get some games on there, maybe I'll come back and do another video and tell you what I think. It's not going to play things like Dreamcast. I, I'm pretty certain it's not, to be honest. I don't think it's got the power for that. But it'll do all the handheld stuff up until about, I don't know, the DS perhaps. And uh, SNES, NES, Mega Drive, all those kind of things. So you'd be able to get plenty of games on there. And as I say, it's quite diddy, quite nice. I mean, yeah, yeah, compare it to my hand, it looks nice. It's quite small. Just sling it in a bag, basically. And that'll be it. Anyway, that's me done. I'm going to leave it there. And uh, if you want to know more about this, let me know in the comments. As I say, I'm new to it like you guys are. So uh, I've got no axe to grind on this one. It's not like they've sent it to me to review or anything like that. I just bought it because I fancied having a look at it. So... Uh, if I think it's good, I'll let you know. If I think it's a load of old rubbish, I'll also let you know. And uh, if you know any more about this, let me know in the comments and give us any heads up or tips because that'd be useful to me. And if I learn anything, I can let you guys know as well. And uh, we can all exchange our views, can't we? But anyway, that's me done. I will speak to you in the next one. And I'm going to go and drink my milk. 
because I rung the changes this morning and uh, I'm having a glass of milk. <laughs> All right, speak to you in the next one. Bye.